Joining me right now, White House Legislative Affairs Director Mark Short. Mr. Short, good to have you here. Thanks for having me on. I You're appreciate getting it. closer and closer and closer. How big a deal is it, in your view, that Senator McCain has said he'll 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 sign up for this? He'll sign it. Well, obviously, getting Senator McCain's support is a very big deal for us. It gets us a, a large step closer, and it gets the American people much closer to delivering real tax relief so they can uh, hopefully have that by uh, a know that come Christmas time, they'll be getting that Christmas present the president's been talking about, and he'll have it signed in the law. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do about some of the other holdouts now? Does he essentially bring them along with him, or are, are you still worried about a few, uh, Senator Flake, Senator Collins, and others? You know, it's, it's my job to worry about them always, but I, I think we feel pretty good right now. The Republican conference has come together. Trish, I, uh, I believe that this tax bill is, uh, as the president says, the largest tax relief in American history. It provides significant relief for, to bring jobs back to our country, but it also provides relief for middle-income families. So to your question, we hope actually at this point that we, uh, we can earn Democrat support on this bill as well. Well, I'll tell you, the market certainly thinks very highly of it. The market likes what it hears, what it sees, and is hopeful that this actually does get through as we look at a, a big new record here, up 310 points right now, Mark, on the Dow. Uh, what about this corporate rate of 22 percent? Because that's now being talked about. The president had said, look, 20 percent is as far as I'll go. He would have preferred to see 15. Yeah. Is there any chance that 22 becomes an option? Trish, our, our hope is that we keep it at 20 percent. We think that uh, corporations looking to move back into our country or invest in our country want to have that certainty over the long term. Uh, what we've seen on the international stage is that other countries have begun to reduce their rates below 20 percent. In Ireland now, down to 12 percent. In Great Britain, uh, moving to 17 percent. Many of the countries the president just visited in Asia are down below 20 percent. So. We think to remain competitive, it has to be a 20. We don't want to see it creeping back up. But to the, your other question as well, we have seen about $5.5 trillion added in asset value to the stock market since the president's election. We see unemployment's lowest point in 17 years. We see uh, jobs coming back. The regulatory impact has been significant to our economy. And now, providing tax relief as well will hopefully continue GDP growing at 3 percent or more, which will put more dollars in more Americans' families' pockets. It's confidence, too, right? I mean, people are feeling a little bit better. And despite all the division, Mark, out there right now in the country, and there's plenty of it, and there's a lot of people mm -hmm. that want to take aim at the president, overall, I do think there's a sense of optimism that we haven't quite seen in recent years. And I, I think that's one reason why you see consumer spending, why you see GDP growth of upwards of 3 percent in a stock market near 25,000 now, potentially. Uh, you're right, Trish. It was uh, consumer confidence at a 17 year high as well. What we've seen is that the economy growing at 1.8 percent during the Obama years was something that the, the, this country could not continue at that pace. There's no way we could fund our other commitments. We need to generate growth. This tax relief package will do that. It will help the economy to grow so we can fund our other priorities, such mm -hmm. as national security. Mm -hmm. Uh, look, I, I think it's hard to argue with this on the corporate side, and, and there are Democrats that are, are never going to go along with it, but, right. Mark, they had once pushed for tax reform yeah. on the corporate side. They know what a big deal this is. Why are they still digging in their heels? Is it all well, politics? It, as you said, Trish, unfortunately, the country is pretty divided right now in partisan lines, and here in Washington in particular is where the division is strongest. Mm -hmm. And uh, in many senators who have advocated for a reduction of corporate rates and have said we should have a tax plan focused on middle-income families are choosing not to vote this only for political reasons. And, and that's too bad. We'd like to see the Senate and the House come together in a bipartisan fashion behind this bill. We think that what we've laid out uh, should be supported by both Republicans and Democrats alike. Mm -hmm. But, you know, listening to your intro as you came in, listening to Bernie Sanders talk about uh, deficits is, is quite ironic since he Isn't worked it? with... Uh, Barack Obama to add $10 trillion in debt to our economy during the Obama years. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's amusing in some ways and not so amusing in other ways, because I'll tell you, Mark, yeah. politics doesn't pay the bills in Peoria, right? I mean, <laughs> you got a bunch of politicians that want to live, you know, high off the hog uh, because of government spending. But the reality is for every other American out there, what pays the bills is a job that they have or a business that they have. And we want to enable them to keep as much of that money as they can themselves, right? That, that's right. And I think that this tax bill, uh, estimates have said, will increase wages for the average family by $4,000. It'll provide, in the Senate bill in particular, for a family earning $72,000 a year, will provide over $2,000 in tax relief. Yeah. 
So it is targeted toward those middle income families. And as you said, for the families in Peoria, uh, this is a plan that, that I think they will like and hopefully will put more dollars in their pocket. Mark Short, thank you so much for joining me. Good luck on Thanks. it.